Tfit here with Fitbilla TV. Look, we're going to try to clear the air of some confusion today. And, uh, you know, this topic's tough because the American Bully to this day is still a dog that can't be defined or is undefinable. But if we simplify it, I did a video talking about why the American Bully needed the Bulldog. Because if you mix two breeds, objectively, you're just talking about a cross. If you add another dog, basically, you get a new breed. You had multiple dogs, you definitely get a new breed. But the challenge is when you invite the bulldog into this breed, you invite a lot of problems. And we already know that bulldogs in general have and come with plenty of problems. So we're just going to do a little light history so you can get an idea of why the breed and the dog itself, even the pit bull, is so confusing. So, 1835, fighting was done. They said, hey, no more fighting, that bull baiting stuff, we're not allowing it anymore. And it wasn't until, basically, and also, the American Pit Bull Terrier basically came to fruition roughly about 1898. Colby line, a.k.a. those people who know Colby, the dog's name was Merle. 1888 is when that dog was kind of getting some popularity. So, from there, you get the American Staffordshire Terrier, which the AKC recognizes in 1936 because of the Bull Terrier, or the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, from a cost upon it in the UKC in 1935. So after this dog gets popular, they recognize this dog, meaning the American Staffordshire Terrier, but this dog, this dog right here, the American Staffy, was bigger than the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. The first 50 dogs that were registered in the AKC as American Staffordshire Bull Terriers were pit bulls. Oh man, let me try to simplify this for you. And all this right here, everybody's running from one thing, the pit bull. They don't want any association with this dog right here. They want to stop, they don't want no affiliation, no association, they don't want nothing to do with the pit bull. So they keep trying to mask it by changing the name of it and adding, or, or just a tad change here, a tad change there, and boom, we've got an American Staffy. Boom, we've got American Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Boom, we've got Bull Terrier. Boom, we've got Staffy Bull Terrier. And now here we are today with American Bully. <laughs> and the confusion is still real. Why? Because nobody can define it all because they've been lying about what they want to put in or what's in it and de just denying the fact they use Bulldogs. I don't know why people still have an argument. Now it's like, oh, Bulldogs are cool. But imagine the 20 years ago, they just defined the dog by saying, hey, we added some English Bulldog. Life would be so much easier. So... Oh man. Huh. The AKC permanently closed the stub book for the American Staffordshire Terrier, meaning today's today oh excuse me. What's it mean? Only dogs whose parents are Amstaffs can be considered a part of the breed. So while every Am American Staffordshire Terrier can be technically called an American Pit Bull Terrier, not every American Pit Bull Terrier can be considered an American, American Staffordshire Terrier. You, you see my, look, it's right here. Just in case, in case you don't want, you can look up the AKC, American Staffordshire versus American Pit Bull Terrier. That last line reads, so while everyone, while every American Staffordshire Terrier can technically be called an American Pit Bull Terrier, not every American Pit Bull Terrier is an American Staffordshire Terrier. <laughs> you, you get my plight? And here we are still trying to define what an American bully is. And the one dog that they've ran from for literally 100 years was the pit bull. Only to create more dogs that still got the terry in her. And I'm telling you this because a lot of you have behavioral issues. And it's because you don't understand this boy right here. This boy's confident. This boy gets busy. This boy's sure of himself. This boy's territorial. This boy's driven. This boy's capable. This boy is somewhere in that lineage and DNA of often. Even if you went Bull Terrier, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier, somewhere in there, we know that the American Bully is a descendant, cousin, relative, an idea of this. Because of what problems this dog brought so many people back in the day and still to this day. We know what this dog has been known for. And everybody created all these dogs to get rid of this, but there is no getting rid of this. <laughs> as long as you're breeding this, 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 or this, he's there. He'll always be there. 
There's no running from him. There's only understanding him so that you can better manage him as he comes out and expresses himself here or there. It's like having the Hulk. Once you turn the genes on, he's like, oh, you did this to yourself. Well, here I am. And all this confusion, even there, it's written confused. It's like, hey, are you black or are you white? Well, if you got one eighth black, then you use a Negro. <laughs> According to the Constitution, I don't care if you look uh, uh, like you, uh, 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 you know, pale as, a, as this door right here. If you've got one eighth nigger and you use a Negro, okay? According to the Constitution, just so we're clear. <laughs> so, we don't want to lose sight of the history, but even more importantly, the importance of understanding how this dog has impact, impacts this dog. But objectively, all they're breeding now is a bulldog with a pit bull's head on it. And to be clear, I don't want a pit, I don't want a bulldog. If I want a bulldog, I would just get a bulldog. That's the thing. I don't want to plethora of problems. All the issues that we're faced with and plagued with in the American bully now, especially when it's related to health, come from the bulldog. And I don't, I don't, I don't want those problems. So we breed closer to the terrier side, which is this boy right here. We definitely have bulldog components so that we can tame some of it in a sense. But we're very clear about where we're trying to go in creating an American Terrier, an AMT per se, an Amgul Stanford Muscle, for the purposes we, we've done the work. We, we understand the history. We understand what we're up against and how to manage him. Because he's not the problem, he's the answer. But the problem is we keep running from the answer. We keep running from the facts. And there's nothing louder than a fact or in fact too. And at the end of the day, all these dogs were created because of him. <laughs> this boy right here. One of the most powerful things, we'll say most confident things on earth. Does it have the strongest bite? No. Does it have some of the strongest will? Yes, I've read in a book that, hey, if you broke the back legs on a pit bull, it would die before it would give up on the task that it was given. Like You guys don't understand. Some of you don't understand tenacity because you've given up your whole life. Our dogs, our, our idea of American bully, they'll never give up. That's the whole point. This boy right here, we all know he don't never give up. When you think of him, you think capable. You think overzealous. You think over the top. You think, I'm afraid. I'd be afraid too if I knew who I was. So, stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. Little light history today. <sighs> know what you're doing and, and educate yourself. Literally type in this article right here. It says, American Staffordshire Terry History. How the imps have separated from the pit bull. And if you read it, you'll say, did it actually separate or did they just <laughs> um, manipulate a few things so they could try to move forward when realistically they moved backwards because they were so afraid due to the association of what the pit bull represented and at the end of the day if we're being completely completely honest the more black people got involved with it it's just the truth the more dangerous it became because then you know we got michael vick problem we got all these other issues that weren't necessarily issues but here's the facts we all know what he can do and all these things are iterations of him so you can't run from him he's here to stay always and forever. Take care of your dogs, people.